Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Luca here at Studio DMI with my Mix Lab. Today, it's an important, important course because it's a plugin that is very close to my heart. The plugin is called Space Control uh, from Studio DMI Acoustic and Audio, developed with our good friend Ardwell. It's going to be tutorial style uh, course where we're going to go over every functionality of the plugin to just to make sure that you know exactly how this incredible tool actually works. And then we're going to go over a couple of examples of applications. All right, follow me. Let's open space control and let's use as an initial approach on piano strings synth parts. What I did on purpose, and you probably can see on the session side, I literally turn mono every instrument. Every synth instrument is actually in mono. And then I place, just for the purpose of this course, space control on the synth high. And what is the challenge? What we're going to try to do, learning more about the plugin, is to turn an entire group of mono synth to stereo. All right, let's start from here. Before we're going to actually listen and be able to uh, create their information and just work more with the plugin, I just want to go over the functionality, the main functionality of the plugin. So just follow me. We're going to start essentially from the top down, left and right of the plugin. Left of the plugin, we have side and MS spectrum. So we are able to actually see, let's play some music just to see this in. So we're able to see it's mono right now. So this is thing. there you go. But this it's a visual representation of the plugin as far as like what we're getting in, what we're getting out. Now through the process, you're gonna see what out of phase mean visually, and that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use this, the MS function and the full part of the spectrum. Moving down, we have the input gain of the plugin. This is like literally a gain staging opportunity on the way in of the plugin. Then we have the preamp. So very, very simple. There is something magic on Diamond Color EQ where we, we kind of like did a modded version of Studio DMI hardware preamps. And that was kind of like the tone of the Color EQ. And we decide to kind of like use that preamp instead of space control to be able to create harmonics and feed the side with harmonics. So this is a preamp. This is the same preamp, but with a better quality, which is essentially oversampling applied to the preamp. Okay, normal and oversampling. Now we're moving to the left up. Those are the bands. So we have, let's cut it. So we have one, two, three, four bands. Those bands are variable. We can move in different parts up to 12K and down to 30. So we can split and cut the spectrum in different parts. And then for every band, we have level. Now, very important. When you turn on and off, we are not bypassing the bands. We are bypassing the level. OK, if we're looking to bypass the band is the X you see in the middle. The X visually, you can tell everything goes dark and it's bypassing the band. If we do S, we solo the band. If we do M, we mute the band. Very simple. Let's actually play some music soon. Let's try that. Solo. Pass, mute, and this apply on everywhere. Okay, very easy. Now, by the way, we have a right click, right click that allow us to do a lot of things. There we go. So we can just turn, essentially delete bands. It goes for one band to start to add a second band, third band, fourth band. Again, I can delete it. Right, so very easy, very fast. Let's stay on one band and keep going. So 
Now, multiply this for each band so we have the on and off and level of the gain. Now, very important, just follow me on this. So now we have an opportunity. They usually in older plugin, it's only one trick. You have a spreader. Here we model three type of spreader. So what it is, we're artificially creating side information. We are creating stereo information from zero to 40 milliseconds, but with three different algorithms. So the one is more extreme, and we're going to play now an example where you're applying, you're doing a delay between left and right really quick, which is has effects typical. The second and the third, they're like very custom and they're incredible sounding spreader. We go over this and then we're going to just dive into some example. I want to just make sure that you guys follow me. This is, it's literally applied to each band. So, and very important, you can have different type of spreader. Let's open our default preset. You can have a different type of spreader on different bands, which is very unique. Back in the days, I was a big fan of Zone 5 with the possibility to spread just one band. But then if you want to spread other bands, you always add the same algorithm. Here we have different algorithm per each band. So typical for me is I want to spread the top and I do algorithm two. I want to spread the lower mid range and I do with algorithm three. And I can do that. Now, dry and wet, very important. What dry and wet is, is literally a parallel of the spreader. And still in phase, we know latency, big deal. So what that means is we can spread a lot, let's say 20 milliseconds, but then we can maybe parallel just like a five or 10%. So this means we take, we keep a very strong mono and we are adding some side without going fully 100% of the side. This also means we can automate the dry and wet, which is pretty cool. Now let's move on the right side of the plugin. We have the typical width level. Width level is simply taking the side of this particular band and just push the level of the side up to 200%. You can even multiply it twice. So you can go up to 400%. Pretty crazy, right? Now, moving to the, to the right, we have the depth, which is a proprietary system of space control to enhance steer information, creating I will, I'll describe as a sort of very small reverb, but that translates as a very transparent reverb that enhances the depth, which is kind of like between peaks and average level, everything between you feel you have more depth. It's very, very cool. And you have a level that you can add depth. And this has nothing to do with the dry and wet. So dry and wet essentially is I'm spreading how much I want to spread. I want to go 100%. I want to go 5% or 50%. It's another step past the width. Now I'm getting wider. I also want to get a little deeper with more depth. That's the depth. The phase limiter, in my opinion, is the coolest part of the plugin as far as mixing and mastering applications. So when you, where you're adding your spreading mono to stereo, naturally we're going out of phase and we can take a look at the bottom of the correlation meter will tell us when it's out of phase so let's take a good example of that when we go negative we go minus one we got out of phase when we go plus one we go in phase typically if you have a mono sound it's perfectly in phase so there we go as soon as we start to spread, we go out of phase, okay? Now, with the phase limiter, we can bring back a stereo sound that generally is out of phase, back in phase. So spread, out of phase, which is the red line tell us it's getting out of phase. Let's put back in phase. There we go, that's back in phase. Now, apply this in a multiband type of processing means that you, we can easily create a scenario where, let's say on purpose, we keep everything mono up to 100 Hertz. 
uh, we do my typical tree effect. We put initially out of phase the lower mid range, say up to 500. We bring back in phase just a touch and we are pushing, we are forcing uh, the phase limiter to control, you see on the spectrum, push up like 150 times. Got it? Okay, and because of multiband, let's say the next band can be a simple level of the band with no change of stereo information, so we can make literally the upper mid-range louder. And the top band, we do extreme stereo. And we put back in phase. Now, let's talk about the two different algorithms of phase limiting, the C and the S. The S is a more extreme, more control uh, type of phase limiting. The C is a little more loose and you have a sense of expansion on the side versus the S, you have a sense of limiting on the side, if it makes sense. Still in phase, okay. Now, be able to calibrate the phase limiting, it's almost having different ratio, go to 10 to 1, 4 to 1, 2 to 1, but in a way that you can kind of like have different bands with different level toleration of phasing. To finish my part of the tutorial, we have a few important elements. Number one, going on the down on the plugin, we have a linear phase conversion of the entire multiband where we want to make sure that we don't have any type of phase shifting happening. A linear phase is extremely transparent. It's incredible. And we have a true phase. True phase is a little more complex to explain. So true phase, just one little uh, tip. If you have panning or if you have extreme panning, true phase will keep everything in stereo even if you're coming extreme to the left or to the right. You keep everything together. If you have a spreader number one, for example, that it does extreme left and right, the true phase will keep, in general, more stereo. This is great if you do big sound design synth with a lot of pads and chords. It's very, very good for that. To complete this, we have an auto gain on the output. So let's say we are pushing some mid-range band. Now with the auto gain, we can compensate the gain. We have our preset list, which for the first time on Acoustica plugin, you can actually share presets, which is amazing. And then we have the solo of the mid and the side. All right, I hope it's not too overwhelming and then take your time maybe to go over it. All right, so what I did, I add space control on bussing. Drum bus, bass. Let's start actually from drum bus and bass. With a clear purpose, I'm looking to create side information on the top ends of the drums and I'm looking to create side information on the mid range of the, the bass. Okay, and I keep entirely mono over 2K. And I'm gonna A and B and just focus if you have good headphones on the side, okay? Let's just play just drum and bass for now. There is a psychoacoustic effect when you open the side on the eye percussion. You feel more definition on the transient. You feel more air on the top. And check if I am literally I'm muting my spreader uh, over 10K on the drum. Check it out. So good. Now let's let's move a little bit down. Here's the definition on the tambourine, on the hats. Now stay on drums. Let's create some ideas how I can treat the lower mid range on the drums.
extremely powerful. Now, having on the base in the drums with different space, essentially we are placing side information on the different area of the spectrum based on busing. So we're having definition on the top from the drums. We're opening up the, the bass and let's focus on the bass for a second. Without And I'm using true phase on the bass uh, without. Notice when it's on, it almost feels like it's still spreading left and right, but bring everything together in the center more, which gives me an opportunity to spread even more. Let's add a preamp. Let's start to bring some other instruments, for example, now. Yeah, I love using true phase on individual buses when I do extreme fretting. Interesting fact about using space control in multiple buses is the effects when you turn all those buses off and on is pretty crazy. So let me do an A and B with one bar on, one bar off of that. I think you're gonna like it. So let's go. Yeah, so one bar, I'm bypassing the entire four space control, okay? Let's do that. Let's start here. Yeah, so crazy, so cool. I wanna give you a couple of quick tips on individual processing using space control. Really quick, one, it's claps. Usually, before space control was duplicating stems and using three or four plugins. So check now. Focus on the top ends. I'm using just gain into a spreader. How crazy is this? Without. Wait. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today. It was a little bit more technical about a plugin that is really, really close to my heart, Space Control from Studio DMI, Acoustic Audio, our good friend Ardwell. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye.